So I, I joined Campus Compact in June of 2014, so it's been two and a half years now. And first of all, it's been a fabulous two and a half years. I've had the opportunity to work with incredible people within our network, our state directors and state staffs, the board, the leadership of our organization, just deeply committed people doing terrific work, and then just, you know, an incredible number of people on all our member campuses across the country. So it's been a ton of fun to, yeah. to uh, you know, in addition to everything else. We, you know, I think partly because we had the opportunity as I was coming in the door to be looking ahead to our 30th anniversary, it just created a good moment to really ask questions about our history, about our deep commitments, and about what we needed to do next. And we also recognized there was a need to kind of re-engage our institutional leaders, presidents and chancellors, deepen their commitment and really spur action following from that commitment on campuses mm -hmm. to move this work to the level of impact that I think we all know we need. In that context, what is the role of a president in moving this work forward? I think part of it is, and it's, it's pretty simple, but it's that we often forget, and that is, I there's an old joke about a, a president spends 75% of his time talking, 25% of his time not listening. And <laughs> I think it ought to be that a president should spend their time listening and, and trying to connect people within the university and outside the university. So I see myself as much as a connector as I do leading a particular effort. We have plenty of individuals on this campus that are engaged and interested. I don't want it to be top down. I want it to be rather that all of us come to some conclusions and we focus on our strengths. But as a president, I have to sometimes what we're finding at the University of San Diego is that we have silos. We have uh, where some good work might be doing and be being done in our peace school, some good work might be in the business school and some of the college of arts and sciences, and they might have similar paths and doing similar work, but they don't even know they exist and we're on the same campus. So the president, the provost, the deans need to work to try to make those connections, that interdisciplinary. Uh, Pope Francis, as a Catholic institution, we turn to Pope Francis and let out of the care of our common home. And he's talking about an integral uh, ecology where you're looking at, you can't solve any problems by any one discipline. And I think as a university president, it's my job and my responsibility to try to bring people together and form so we can find out where we're working and how we can solve those problems together. So I think that's the role of a president when it comes to civic engagement. It's a priority for you, and what what is it that you're excited about in kind of building forward San Diego's civic work? Well, first of all, I'm inspired by the idea that it's a national group of presidents coming together under the uh, under the umbrella of Campus Compact, which is an organization I so admire and I really appreciate the leadership that you're providing for this organization. So it has a national, it's a national movement, but I, the reason I'm so interested in, I think the University of San Diego is, is I don't think there's been a, um, a greater need in our society than this time right now. Uh, we've just emerged from a period in our history where we've had two wars, fighting two wars globally. We came out of the greatest recession uh, since the Great Depression, and we also have a number of questions in our society with regard to how do we treat each other as civil and responsible citizens, including issues around race relations, and some very serious issues that perhaps higher education hasn't faced in, in five or six decades. So when you think about all those people in your uh, campus community, one who I know quite well comes to mind, which is your president. Um, and you happen to have a leader who is, uh, I think, deeply committed to this work and also one of the most high energy people in the field. Yes. <laughs> um, I think uh, leadership is essential. Uh, to get anything done, and leadership is everywhere. You know, I like to talk about roving leadership, and today I might have the ball, and I'm the one who's trying to figure it out, but tomorrow you have the ball. And I think um, that we honor each other that way, that we realize that there are multiple leaders at the university. There is the president, who, who's the model, and that's our first model, first among equals, but then we are all leaders too, because if we think that leaders put the position in here or there, then it really never does permeate the institution. So I think we get somebody to have the ball rolling. As you said, we have a great president who does believe in uh, community-based learning, community-engaged work. Um, but if there wasn't buy-in, it would just sit there on that person's desk. And so it's really important that every person sees themselves as part of the puzzle and that they're part of the driver and just as important as any other participant in, in our system.